is up guys welcome back to adventure archaeology today i'm walking on an original road site that you can see behind me from 1830 and you may hear rushing water and that's because we're next to a creek you can see how muddy it is we've had several several days of rain which has led to incredibly muddy trails you may wonder what i'm doing out here well i'm actually walking to a site that is a mill site and this mill site is not an original. The original mill was here from about 1867 to 1931 before shutting down. And there was actually another mill that was about a mile west of here. And the interesting story about this road that we're on, this is the same road that the 8th Iowa Infantry used to burn that original mine site down back during around 1865. So very historical area. The mill that we are going to there again is something that has been restored or rebuilt to show what the accurate, accurately what the mill would have looked like in operation. Now the reason that we are visiting here is because if you've been following the channel, you know a few weeks ago I discovered a spot that a lot of people have led me to believe that it may have been a mill at one time. Now whether that's true or not, I'm not for sure. The reason that everybody thinks that it is a mill though is because on the side of the mountain, which is very similar to this one, there was a, char a carved channel around the side of the mountain that looked like it was to guide water. And it was directly next to a creek or a river, so it would have made sense for them to use it. So you can see today, we are under flash flood conditions. Actually, the bridge was completely covered in water on the way in. But the first thing that you had to have to have an operational mill is water and a lot of water now originally this falls would not have been here this would have been all one level but they had to dam it up to channel the water to the side and that's where this little rock foundation comes in and this gate now when this gate is open the water floods through the side and down this channel that you see right here now this is what an original mill would have looked like and that's not to say that it could not be done through rock channel on the side of a mountain because that is very possible but it was a lot easier for them to service a mill when it was made out of wood and as close to the creek as possible because they didn't want to build this foundation way up to the side of a mountain and then around now normally normally the water wouldn't be near as high as it is right now but as mentioned you probably could tell from the drone footage we are in flood stages right now so <laughs> not a whole lot we can do about that so the water would be channeled down this trough and every trough had a different length depending on where they had to get the water from so the site that we found could have very possibly channeled the water for well over a mile because that's how far the rock channel went around the side of the mountain that's a lot of work to get that water channeled around but I'm not saying that they didn't do it. Now you can see that these things leak and that's okay because they didn't have to have the full amount of water to spin the wheel. They just needed enough just to keep the wheel spinning on the mill. I'm gonna show you all this big water wheel over here and try not to bore you all to death with my commentary. All right, you can see that the trough ends right here, right on top of the water wheel. Now let's go around the front. You'll be able to see it better from over there. So the water would have came out the end of the chute, hit the front side of the water wheel, and it would have spun this water wheel. You can see that the shaft went inside. And once it went into there, you can see that large belt right there. That is a belt that runs all the way up to the inside of the mill. That belt would be put on a system of pulleys that would adjust the speed for whatever they were gonna use the power from the water for. This mill is actually still operational and they use it to make corn mill, which is some of the best in the state. Me, if, me and my wife can help it, this is where we usually buy all of our corn mill from. So they've got the gate shut on the front where we were up there where the dam is. They've also got the gate shut there and they've got the water wheel locked down. Now you may be wondering, well, why do they do that? Well, 
the bearings that are running this are only meant to run so fast with the amount of water that's coming down right now it would have ran so fast it would have probably burnt those bearings out so it was very important for them to have an area to lock it down this water is ridiculous guys i think it's going to wash some bottles out so i am excited about that so these right here are what the original grinding stones would have looked like and this is actually an original grinding stone as a matter of fact this thing probably weighs several tons you can see that there's that one's super thick this one's super thin they all had different uses there's another one over here i'm going to show y'all normally this water is nowhere near this high the water is actually touching this one so have to be careful that this thing doesn't wash down the creek <laughs> i doubt it would that's several tons and tons of rock or granite or whatever it is they made that stone out of now the original center part that you see this iron you can see how it looks very crude that's because that was blacksmith so you know back then they didn't have machine shops like we do today but they had their run-of-the-mill blacksmith that was sitting out there with a large hammer and a really hot fire and they would forge their material that they needed so that's pretty neat now usually when they were building these mill sites they had to use the materials that they had around them which is usually the creek or river stone so the rocks that you see that are built on this are more than likely what would have came out of the creek and that's how just about every structure was made the lumber wasn't bought from Lowe's or Home Depot they didn't have that kind of stuff back then it was actually all logged and hand hewn here in the area so that's pretty neat to think about the amount of work that it took to build one of these and then to build the water wheel. Now that water wheel is iron. More than likely, 150 years ago, I don't think that it would have been an iron wheel, especially on a backwoods mill like this one. It would have probably been a wooden wheel. So that iron wheel is uh, nice and fabricated today. You can see the welds on it. Back then they didn't have the resources to make something that large and lift it into place, even though they could have used block and tackle and mules. But more than likely, like I said, it was probably made out of wood. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this bit of an adventure, bit of a tour. Uh, I really just wanted to come here and refresh my memory as to how one of these sites worked. Because like I said, I really don't know if the spot that we found is a mill site, but it was worth me coming to just kind of refresh my memory to how one of these would operate. Never know, I might be able to use the info that I learned here today in that spot where we'll be in EA, we're exploring, and we might be able to find some really interesting stuff. Either way, we'll see you guys in the next adventure.